today i will show compel time polymorphism what is compel time polymorphism a polymorphism which exist at the time of compilation is called as compel time polymorphism method overloading is a proper example of compel time polymorphism so what is a method overloading whenever a class contain more than one method with the same name and different type of parameters then it is called as method overloading so we can see that in the example we don't type method name the method name is same but the parameters are different let understand with the help of code we will create a class in the class we will make a method int add then in the add method we instance some variable a is equal to 100 b is equal to 200 and c then let multiply a and b and store it in c store so this is a uh, int method then it will return the the value of c so we will return the value of c then we will make uh, another method in the, that is void at then the method name is same and we will pass parameters let consider the parameter in text and in y then in c and c is equal to x multiply by this the operation and system we will put the output of c the value is plus c then we will make another method same name but the parameters are parameters will be different let int x and double y so we can see that the parameters are different then we will again instantiate c sorry the value will uh, the answer will come in double so we will make c in double double c and then c is equal to x multiply y then c. we will output the value of c the value is c now we will make the main method this snippet of main method shall shortcut of main method so we will make the object of com poly class is equal to com poly c is equal sorry is equal to new well, and we will make the object we have, we have made the object then for this is a int method it will return the value of c then we also call the method of int add so we will it we, are, we will initialize it int add is equal to c dot add then system the we will output the first c's value the value is plus c so c dot add and c dot add
So we will pass the param value of those parameters index and in y and index and double y. So here the value will let thousand and two thousand and here ten thousand and and see how okay that's fine sorry it will not see it will add let's check the output we can see that the first int add method multiplies c uh, multiplies a and b with c and store return the value of c and all we call it here let uh, the it will better understandable and it will second and it will be third okay so we return again and the output came then same method with different parameters and the corresponding output then also the same method and also the different parameters then the corresponding output so here's an all method name are same but parameters is different so it is known as method overloading thank you